So many of us know that the movie franchise that puts the godfather to shame, Sonic the Hedgehog, is ending its trilogy at the end of this year, but what also ended was filming for Sonic 3, and now they're just going hardcore into post-production. But you may be wondering, okay, cool, but why is it such a big deal? Well, the reason why it's a big deal is because we don't know who the hell is voicing Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, every new casting has been announced. Freaking Jessica Jones is in this movie, but they have yet to announce who's playing Shadow. And if they're hiding this information because the goober voicing Shadow is this all-star level celebrity like Darth Vader himself, they don't care. Okay, fine. But the Knuckles show is coming out soon, so it makes sense to announce the casting to drum up a bunch of Sonic publicity in anticipation for the new show. But look, I'm just goofing around. I'm not losing sleep or starving myself to death because we don't know who Shadow is going to be. I don't care, I could wait, but I do want to glaze Sonic the Hedgehog a bit because think about it. Like, how did we even get here? Like, we started this franchise with an absolute wet fart of a character that looks like the offspring of a blueberry and cancer, and somehow the entire internet assembled like the Avengers to pounce on Paramount for making this character and prompting the ultimate ultimate and most beautiful redesign for Sonic possible. And as a result, we have somehow gotten a trilogy and a cinematic universe. Like this whole franchise is going down in cinematic history purely because of that redesign, which I'm still 100% sure was a marketing stunt because I can't take seriously that these guys who made Sonic thought that this version of Sonic looked good. But besides the point we've made it, Hollywood has managed to make a Sonic trilogy before GTA 6 comes out. However, now the question becomes, should there be a fourth movie? Now personally, I don't think there should be a fourth movie and I'll explain why later, but I'm just going to say straight off the bat that Paramount will 100% make a fourth movie because the first film came out when the pandemic started and the second film came out when the pandemic ended. Both of those are times where people were iffy about going to the theaters but now Everybody is going to the theaters, they don't care about a pandemic because it's over, and they are introducing Shadow the Hedgehog. This has to be a guaranteed box office smash, and will surely warrant a fourth film. But should there be a fourth movie? And for me, I don't think there should be, because I'm a big believer that things should end at their peak, and there shouldn't be a need to milk anything and spoil something so good. But I also believe that if they wanted to milk out the entire Sonic franchise, I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to it. Like, after Sonic 3, why don't you start a new trilogy with Shadow the Hedgehog? Like, he's the Batman of the Sonic franchise, and for some people, they like him more than Sonic just because he's cooler. Or maybe you could have a little special like a Halloween, Christmas, or hell, a Valentine's Day special where you get introduced to Amy for the first time. Like Paramount has just scratched the surface with this franchise and if they wanted to continue making money through it, then they can still do that but it doesn't have to be through the Sonic character. So yeah, end the trilogy and expand the universe and I think a lot of people can get behind that. But yeah, that's it.